Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Colorspiration. Today is our last day. We're going to go ahead and try to finish this image up so it'll probably be longer than the time that we have been dedicating before. So um, if you haven't seen the last video, I talked about her dress and I think we're going to go with green. This green is called dark green. So I'm going to go ahead and color in. I don't know if this supposed to be like a little ghost on here. Hat. I don't know what this is on her. Did I just say ghost head? I meant pen, like a pen. I don't know. But I um, looked up some dresses, and you know I know witches have different colored dresses, but I think I, th I think I want to go with this green. So of course we wanted this to accent this piece to be an accent piece on her actual dress. I want, and I chose a darker green just because I feel like maybe she likes to wear green to complement her eye color, which is a green as well. I don't know. I have no idea. Also, I don't know what we're going to be doing tomorrow. I had a picture out, but we'll have to see. Because, you know, some pictures are going to take longer and some pictures are going to take lesser time. After we finish today, I gotta get ready. All right, let's go ahead and get this going. I was trying to figure out where we are. As I stated before, every day that we do these images. Well, for me, I'll probably, you know, I'll probably have a coloring session for myself. And then you'll see them as per our agreement. Yes, I know you entered into the agreement involuntarily. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So are you ready for Monday? I am not. I have a doctor's appointment. I have so much going on these days. It's it's crazy. So I did get this marker. I feel like it will complement. I also got this color. Now this color may be a little bit too dark. So I'm going to go back to this one. It's so interesting how some markers you never use dry out and other markers you use a lot and they dry out from wear and tear but they don't dry out as much as a non-used marker would. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to have to find another color. I'm actually have to get my color pencil and do some work on it. And I'm okay with that. But I had read that you use your marker first, then color pencil. I also saw someone say that in one of their videos. A, a actual artist, right? Colorist. Someone that knows way more about coloring than I do. Now, don't get me wrong. I know about coloring. Like, I know that I like to do it. <laughs> but when it comes to all the other stuff, That's to the professionals. That's left up to the professionals. This blotchy hair is just driving me crazy. And then I need to just find probably another color to... I'm using a brush tip versus the chisel or the broad, as they call it, the broad, just because I feel like it's going to be easier for me. Then we get back to her dress. Now let's cut the plate. Do I want to turn it into like a gold color and the answer is probably yes I have a yellow that would definitely work for gold so we'll see I 
I've been stalking Pinterest lately. Trying to find a few projects I want to work on in the new year. I have, you know, I always have a lot of ideas in my head. <laughs> They're great at the store when you're trying to buy all that junk, justify buying the stuff, right? I like that it's two tone. Her hair's, you know, more than one color. That's good. Maybe, you know, she got into something she wasn't supposed to get into, and that's why her hair actually changed colors. That's why it looks that way, right? Not because the person that colored the image marker died on her on one half of the hair and it was still looking bad, so she decided to go on the other side and do it too. Not that reason. I do like how it's come out though. I don't know this this combination is very much so and you can it's reflected in the I love that I love it just like that I used to want my hair this color like a darker brown with some highlights because now it looks gray and I'm okay with that let's go ahead and uh, it says light yellow light orange I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> it doesn't look good to me. I've been snatched. I snatched. I didn't snatch. I opened it and the inside flew on the floor of this a green one. I said, let me just put that one back and get a different color. <laughs> you know, this is supposed to be stress free, hanging out, fun, uh, inspiring, inspiring. What are words? I don't know. They elude my vocabulary sometimes. And sometimes all I have is gibberish. These markers are starting to um, bug me. Because I want to be able to move it around and I have glue. All this other nonsense on my desk. You know, we could technically say we're done, right? Technically, no. Again, a start to finish project. No more than 15 minutes. This one will take longer because it's wrap up, final call. This, the play is about to begin. So everybody needs to get out the concession area and go back to their seats. <laughs> Remember I lived in Italy. We went to a ballet. I've only seen maybe three ballets in my life. The, the one we went to in Italy. It was for Italian class I was taking. Uh, it was Duke Ellington. And this is how you know that you're starting to quote unquote mature. I don't like... I'm not into instrumental music like jazz and things like that. I've always been a person that like words. But when I went to the play, I was like, ooh. And I was young still. I was in my um still in my early twenties, so I was still having my brain needed to be cultivated. I would never tell anyone I don't like jazz now because I love songs. I love music. I love harmony, rhythm. I have none, but I enjoy I guess it's her cape, right? Yeah, it looks like a cape, so that's good. Not a dress. Um, you know, I love all of that stuff, so it was really cool to see them dancing around. And then, you know, those people, 
that do live performances day in and day out two two a day maybe for 10 weeks that's a lot on their body and they're singing these songs and it's just amazing amazing so of course you know you want to appreciate that we have uh, a straight some straight strands we're gonna go ahead and knock out right here this is not the right color did I put the color back I did didn't I that's her skin tone I guess that's why it's good to say the numbers that you're using because, well, it won't do my brain any good, but in general, you can be like, oh, it's 564 or 22 or 11, and you just go find 11. I do like to say the word like dark green because maybe you're not using this particular image, but you may be using another image, and you're like, I like that color. I like how it looks, so I want to use that color. You know, I'm a, I think I asked y'all this before, but I like Coca-Cola. I really do. I would like one right now. I'm not going to get one right now. All right, let's go ahead and get these leaves out the way. I think I want to try light orange on this bottom. Oh, no, that's too close to the pumpkin let's try yellow good let's try green behind it I see a little bit of her dress cape showing I don't know what it is really but we'll say it's the cape maybe she turned her familiar into a pumpkin but I like the other one that she went to the pumpkin patch and she's making pumpkin spice lattes for the first time I don't know and they her um her witch family's like it has to be authentic pumpkins theory <laughs> I don't know don't don't just go with it okay go with it don't ask any questions just know that I might I might be different. <laughs> I don't know. I hope that uh, that didn't scare you, dearie. <laughs> you know, Halloween has come and gone, right? But I, I, I enjoyed myself um, up until the point I didn't enjoy myself. My son was Darth Vader, and he got a lightsaber. Now I thought the lightsaber did something. It doesn't. You can swing it around and it extend and you do a certain thing and it retract, but it's no nothing mechanical. I I think I want to just get a purple. So let me try to find a purple. Just one purple. What are you thinking that? What are you saying that leaf needs to be purple? Mm-hmm. 
I was. I just like tracing it first. It's probably the number one artist don't do. I don't know if it, it is for real or don't do, but. I like to do it. It's probably from being a kid. Don't color outside the lines. Now you know what? Everyone's like, it's okay to color outside the lines. You can be an individual. Before you couldn't be an individual, though. I don't know. Uh, let's see how this lavender look. Yep. Looks great. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. I like that the colors can all, the markers can all go with each other as well. That makes me happy. Watching some of those people do those transition videos, it has to take a long time. It didn't. It didn't take us that long to do her. You know, maybe a uh, roughly an hour, if that total. But when people start from start to finish and they do all that coloring and drawing, I'm like, ooh. On those YouTube shorts, the way they transition is nice. All right, I think we got all our solid pieces. And by piece, I mean like leaves. These look just like random things that they have kind of drawn here. You don't even have to get into it, really, if you don't want to. Of course, I want to. I thought I had an orange. This also looks like I may have inverted the colors. That's okay. Everything's fine. Nothing to see here. Do this one last leaf. Because I don't think it's any more solid leaves. I'm not going to do that thing right there. So what are you all thinking of the color inspiration? I know that you, I haven't seen any comments yet. Because um, I haven't uploaded one video yet. But by the time you see this video, all the other videos that I've made for her will be up so let me know what you think um, if you want to join please send me an email my information is in the description box if you don't want to join that's great too I want to say thank you all for watching I hope that you had a great time and this is our first completed color inspiration I don't know what I'll do with them at the end but maybe we can think of something together until next time happy crafting